Scott, thank you. Neil, uh, how's the spring going so far? It's been good. It's been uh, a lot of, gotten a lot of work done. We've, um, you know, for me, it's, you know, dealing with new teammates and, and uh, you know, gaining that chemistry and, and having fun and more so getting that work in, getting, getting prepared for opening day. Yeah, about that, you're a Pittsburgh lifer. How has it been coming into a new clubhouse, specifically a new coaching staff, getting to know uh, the guys, making new relationships? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been as, as difficult as people may think. I mean, um, you know, it's the same game everywhere you go. It's, uh, you know, for me, obviously, being in one place for as long as I was uh, made it the transition a little bit different, just putting on a different uniform, being in a different place, having new people around you. So, uh, but I was welcomed with open arms here, and I couldn't be happier. You made three or four really good defensive plays yesterday. And a lot of people talk about you as a offensive second baseman. How much pride and work do you put in your defense at second? I put a lot of pride. I mean, that's that's something that's, that that I, that I work very hard on. And as a middle infielder, you, you have to, for for a team to be good, you have to be good. And um, so for me, it's it, you know, it's never really pretty. My game's never really pretty. But for me, it's it's about the balls I'm getting to, making sure they're out. He's a single by the pitcher Kozar. Where are you at the plate right now? Are you where you want to be at this moment? Pretty close. Uh, I've gotten I've gotten a lot of uh, a lot of good at bats. A lot of uh, saw, seen a lot of pitches. Haven't got a ton of hits, but um, you know, in spring, if you can uh, see a lot of pitches, you can see different type of pitchers, and um, you know, find uh, as many barrels as you can. That's that's the most important thing. You're in the same league, new division though. How much research goes in? to the pitchers in a new division and if you do do research specifically on the relievers are you more to watch tape or you do you look at analytics as a player for me for me it's it's more about talking to other guys actually talking to you know for me left-handed talking to granderson talking to duda talking to these guys seeing how they're being attacked from uh, by guys maybe i haven't faced a ton um but be, being in the national league for the last six years i i know generally uh, the guys that you're going to face so there's there's kind of fewer guys but you're right it's the relievers that you haven't seen that that are coming in late in the game for probably one at bat that you want to really get a an idea on is, is his ball sinking is it running is he cutting uh is his breaking ball over over the top is a three-quarter those type of things so it's 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 more so communication with with your teammates for me than anything else next few weeks before opening day is there anything in particular that you want to work on or are you just trying to get into the swing of things before opening day yeah i think these last uh, week to week and a half your your main goal is to kind of ramp it up, uh, use the at-bats uh, a little more specifically to game game, game situations, you know, your runners on first or, 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 you know, using the hole, those type of things, um, putting together good at-bats, whereas early on in the spring, you're really trying to get your swing off. You're trying to just kind of, you know, see the ball, hit the ball. And uh, for me, as spring goes along, I try to kind of focus it down a little bit more on uh, game situation type things. You happy to have a full season ahead where you don't have to face any of this Mets pitching staff? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's, that's first and foremost, you know. Anytime you, you know, the last couple of years you saw the mess were coming to town, you knew you were in for low-scoring games. You know you were coming in. Uh, there was going to be power arms coming into the game. So I'm happy to be on this side of it. Thanks so much for joining us.